Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. Today's video is all about how to keep your parrots warm in the winter. And for a change, I have all three of my parrots in my video, which is quite exciting. So let's see how long they actually stay in shop for. Now, just as a quick disclaimer, this video is about birds that primarily live indoors. It's not for aviary birds, because that's a whole other kettle of fish. And I can go into that in the comments if you have any questions, but this is primarily for indoor kept birds. So to start off with, it's really important to consider a bird's anatomy and physiology. And of course, our lovely parrots are covered in feathers. Now, one of the primary functions of feathers is to regulate body temperature. So if a bird is very hot, they'll hold their feathers close to their body. And if they are very cold, they'll fluff up and they'll trap loads of air in between their feathers and that will keep them nice and warm. And believe it or not, in the wild, the temperature does drop at night. And I do know that because I've been to many areas in the wild where parrots live, for example, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, lots of different places so there will be a temperature fluctuation between day and night even in the most humid of areas. Now saying that you still have a responsibility to your parrot to keep them comfortable and of course having a warm home is beneficial for your health as well as the health of your bird. Now we have a thermostat in our home and it tells us what the temperature roughly is and absolute minimum for us at night we keep our home at about 17 degrees celsius which is about 62 degrees fahrenheit and during the day we keep an absolute minimum of 22 degrees celsius which is a roughly 71 fahrenheit so not super hot not super cold but of course there's going to be fluctuations if it really does feel quite chilly we'll turn the heating up but you don't want there to be such a huge variation between the temperatures in your house um, from day to night and night to day so to keep our homes warm in the uk most homes will have central heating installed which are radiators which you can control to turn on or off and even set a set temperature so that's really handy for us the downside of having central heating is it can really dry out the air and if you know about parrot climates in the wild they do need quite a humid environment which can be really hard to mimic in captivity so one of the things that you can do is have a humidifier in your room which produces steam and helps with the bird's sinuses as well as their feathers and their skin now sadly one of the downsides in needing a quite a humid environment for your bird is that particularly in the uk where we pretty much have cold wet weather for most of the year Coupled with a lack of ventilation, particularly in winter, it can create mould and mildew in the home, um, which is obviously not ideal for your birds. So you don't necessarily want a human environment, but you also kind of do. So there's a few things that you can do to kind of meet in the middle and keep your birds happy and healthy. So firstly, you can give your birds regular mistings if they like showers. I'm planning on making a video on how to help your bird bathe if they're not really that keen on it, so that will be coming soon. But you can give a nice mist with a soft spray and hopefully they'll enjoy that. And if they don't, you can also offer uh, bowls of water for bathing, that kind of thing. Some small birds like to bathe in a bowl of water full of lettuce, which is quite cute. Or if they like going in the shower, if they're a bigger bird, you can take them in the shower with you a few times a week. Some birds will like a bath every day, some birds only a couple of times a week, but you can still give them a mist so they're breathing in nice humid air. So if your birds are really against bathing and you really struggle with it, one of the things that you can do is take them into the bathroom just before you have a shower. So you can steam the room up so it's really lovely and humid and steamy and you can take them in there and it'll be fantastic for their sinuses and also really great for their skin and feathers as well. Uh, be careful if your birds are a little bit skittish, you may want to take them in there in a travel carrier or if your cage fits you can take them in there on that or even on harness. But if your bird is comfortable going in every room in the house, you can just take them in there. Don't put them under the hot shower, just have them in the steamy room with you. It'll be good for your nostrils as well. Now on the subject of your birds having baths, it's really important that when they've had their bath, they're going to a relatively warm room so they can dry off. Please don't use hair dryers to dry your birds off. I see so many people doing it, but a lot of people don't realize that hair dryers have a nonstick coating within them, which is usually Teflon. And when Teflon is overheated, it's really, really toxic for your birds. So please avoid using hair dryers at all costs. You can, if your bird likes it, have a little towel out and they can kind of have a little cozy cuddle with you. Our birds kind of like to just sit and preen and just dry off naturally because they're in a nice warm room so it's going to be comfortable. If you go and put them in a cold room, it's going to be quite uncomfortable for them to dry off. Now speaking of Teflon, if you're considering using something like a space heater for your home, if you don't have central heating like we do over here, 
please make sure you check that those are also safe because more often than not space heaters will have a non-stick coating in which is often teflon so again really check what's in your space heaters or any other heaters that you have and of course if you're not sure if it's safe you can leave me a comment and i can try and work it out for you or just don't use it because it's just not worth the risk now something else you could consider to try and keep your birds nice and cozy and warm in the winter is covering them I personally don't cover my birds because it can promote hormonal behaviour and also if they can get a hold of the cover and chew it that can cause impaction. So I don't do it. Sometimes, very occasionally, we might put a cover over the top of the boys if they haven't had a nap and they're getting really grouchy but generally we really don't cover them because I just don't see the point. They don't get covered in the wild. Um, but if you wanted to, um, you could just cover the top and maybe the side or the top and the back and if anything, it might give you some peace of mind that they're feeling cosy, but generally birds don't need it, but I just thought I'd mention that because some people do cover birds. Now, if you have more than one bird in the same cage, you may find something cute, which is where they often snuggle up together to keep warm. Now, our boys have a bit of a love-hate relationship with each other. Sometimes they'll fight and sometimes they'll be really cute. Sometimes when we put the boys to bed, they'll be sitting opposite sides of the cage and they'll go to sleep like that. And then if we have to get up in the middle of the night for one reason or another, we always check in on them to make sure they're okay. And sometimes we find them sleeping really side by side, really close together, which is really adorable to see. Now I know some people out there will be considering things like heat lamps uh, because they might have seen them elsewhere used but I would say that heat lamps should only be used for very old birds, very young birds or birds that are unwell. For a normal healthy bird they shouldn't need a heat lamp and actually it can cause overheating if you haven't positioned it in a way that they can move out of that heat if they feel like they don't need it. Now I wanted to briefly touch on heated perches. I've seen these in a few stores and people using them. My personal opinion is that they're a little bit pointless. Um, I feel like there's also a risk of potential malfunction and birds burning their feet on them. They just don't need them. It's a very kind of anthropomorphic product. Um, and I just, yeah, I, I don't see the need for them. I know some people say, oh, I've been using them for all this time and they've been fine and that's great, but that's not always the case and they're not necessary. So I personally wouldn't recommend using them. Another consideration for the winter are drafts. Now, if your bird is in a very drafty room or they're near a window or a door, there is potential for quite constant temperature fluctuations and this can cause a bird to be quite stressed and that leaves them prone to illness. So don't have your birds near a window or near a door and just kind of check the room, see if there's any cold spots, anything like that, just to keep your birds nice and safe. And finally, one last product I really wanted to not recommend are happy and cozy hearts. I'm going to put a picture somewhere here now of them if you don't know what they are. But they're little sort of fleecy hearts that people think their birds need uh, to keep them cozy and warm. Your birds don't need them. Very few parrot species, there are some like the golden conure, uh, but very few parrot species actually need somewhere cozy to go to sleep. In the wild, most birds will just sleep on a branch. They don't have a little kind of cozy home or cavern or whatever it is that you think that they have they just sleep on a branch usually with their kind of flock mates they'll cozy up like i said with the boys happy hearts can cause a lot of problems they promote hormonal behavior because a bird thinks it's a nest um, there's a risk of impaction if your bird chews on them and they're just really unnecessary as i said so avoid happy hearts at all costs even the natural ones still promote hormonal behavior so i really would not recommend having anything like that in your home so I hope you found this video useful in my tips for keeping your birds warm in the winter. If there's something you'd like to add, I'd love to speak to you in the comments, so please get in touch down there. But from me, <laughs> Chip and Fish, and Pickles is coming with David. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Take care. See you later.